Hi, good morning. My name is Sue Morris. I'm a nurse educator at the New Brunswick Heart Center. And today I'm going to do a quick overview of the critical cooling device. You can hear that uh, alarming in the background. I have it on, but not attached to therapy. So first let's watch a, a quick little video of how to operate the device. Hello, this video will walk you through the basic operation of Critical System. For further details, please refer to the Critical User Manual. First, fill the water tank up to the upper level line. A full tank has 6 liters of water. The system uses only sterile or 0.22 micron filtered tap water. Make sure to use only these kinds of water. Now we can turn on the machine. When turning on the power, the system performs a self-test. This self-test will take a few minutes to assure the system's safety. When finished, a select mode screen appears. Now you can select the operation mode. The options are targeted temperature management, normothermia, controlled rewarming, and empty. Select TTM for controlled targeted temperature management. This is the default choice. Choose the appropriate cure wrap for your patient. We provide adult, pediatric, and infant cure wraps in different sizes, which give a full body coverage. Open the wrap on the bed. Position the patient as shown. Position the core and surface temperature probes. The patient's core temperature can be measured via esophageal or rectal temperature. We will continue to use bladder temperature as it connects nicely into the core probe. Connect the temperature probes, gray for core, green for surface. Connect the hoses to the wrap and to the critical system as shown. When connecting the hoses to the system, be sure to press the latch on each hose as you insert it. Either hose can be inserted into either side. Once the wrap is filled with water, secure wrap on the patient. Make sure to leave one finger breadth between the wrap and the patient. Make sure the clamps are open so that water will circulate through the wrap throughout the treatment. Now the machine is set up and running. The default set point for TTM is 33 degrees Celsius for adults and 33.5 degrees Celsius for neonates. These settings may be changed for individual cases. Let's go over the data on the main screen. Core temperature, surface temperature, duration of treatment, the selected mode, adult or neonatal mode. Circulation icon shows that water is flowing through the wrap. Set point temperature. Main menu icon. Temperature graph icon. Set point selection icon. By touching the menu icon, you can choose different options and settings as you wish. In case of a problem, an alarm will be triggered and an error message will appear on the screen guiding you as to what is needed to be done. Addressing the issue will remove the message and silence the alarm. The system is designed to maintain the set temperature for as long as needed. The system also offers protocols for controlled rewarming and normothermia. Touch the menu icon and in the mode select option, touch the controlled rewarming. A confirmation to the core readout temperature is essential to activate the rewarming mode. Once accepting the change, the status will be changed and you will be able to see that you are in rewarming mode. The pre-programmed target temperature is 36.5 degrees Celsius in a stepwise fashion of 0.2 degrees Celsius per one hour. Those settings can be changed per the clinician's discretion. The system will reach the desired temperature and maintain it until the treatment is complete. Normothermia mode allows you to perform a rapid rewarming. The system will reach the desired temperature and keep it. We will not be using normal thermia. That is indicated for patients, uh, likely in the emergency department, that have suffered an accidental hypothermia. So it will not be a mode that we will use. So we will use targeted temperature management for the first 24 hours and controlled rewarming for the rewarming phase. For further details, please refer to the user manual. Please do not hesitate to contact us by phone at 1-855-397-4547. So let me just go over a, a few features. So first of all, 
this will be in the basket attached to the device and it is all of our physicians and their preferred target temperature so it defaults to 33 degrees so if you have um, a physician who wants a different temperature you're going to have to go to uh, the little temperature icon and use a plus or minus arrow to um, to change the set point the next picture that you will see attached to the device is how to apply the wrap and when we are all done this is how it should look so it's wrapped around the arms and the legs i also want to show you the surface temperature probe so it looks like a little heart and you would either stick it on the patient's forehead if they didn't have a BIS monitor or on their cheek, and that will monitor the surface temperature. That has an end on it that will plug in to the green cable. So this part goes into the machine. This is where you will connect the surface temperature. The probe for the Foley catheter is just the same as the one that we're used to using. I also want to show you, and I'm just going to put the alarm on, uh, alarm silence button on. And so these are the cables. So you'll see that the cables connect to the machine down here. It doesn't matter which one goes on which side. And then we have three prongs coming from it. They will connect to the wrap. And let me just put my camera back up here. And show you the three prongs and they just fit together by pushing, pushing in and they just friction fit. And then you would undo the clamp. You can see that this wrap, which is full of water now, quite heavy, also has a little picture on it that shows where the head is. So this will exit at the top of the bed. And additionally, there will be one more laminated sheet attached to your machine that will give you the operating instructions. So allow me to share that with you. So what you will need is a critical machine, some distilled water, the cure wrap, which is in the blue bag, the water connection cable. So those are the blue connection cables. You will need a surface temperature probe that is this one here that looks like a heart that will connect into the cable that has a green end on it and you will need your foley catheter to connect to the core temperature probe which is gray and so our steps we're going to take a look at the front make sure that there is adequate distilled or sterile water in it we're going to turn the machine on at the back it will come on with this display it defaults to targeted temperature management so you're going to click ok you're going to lay the patient up on his side and get the cure wrap underneath him with those three water um cables coming out at the head and you're not going to wrap it around him yet you're going to connect them 
can ensure that it fills with water, and then you will wrap it snugly around the patient. And I'm sure many of you are wondering, oh gee, I wonder how big of a patient we can, uh, we can have. It accommodates a very obese patient, so it shouldn't be an issue. And so our set point is 33 degrees. If that is not what your physician prefers, you're gonna touch, touch the temperature icon and um, add a temperature that the physician requests. Most of them are at 34 now, but a couple of our physicians want 36. When the machine is operational, this is what you will see. You'll see a core temperature, a surface temperature, and the set point. Anytime you want to put the machine on standby, you would go and hit the little menu icon, and it's the first button. There's soft buttons on the side. One says main menu. The next one is your silence alarm button. If you want to see the temperature graphs, and you can do it over an hour, six hours, or 12 hours, you can click it here. Um, and anytime you make a change, here is your OK button. When you want to rewarm the patient at the end of 24 hours, you're going to go up to that menu icon. You're going to go to select mode. You're going to hit control rewarming and then OK. And it will progressively increase your patient's temperature by 0.2 degrees per hour. Much, much simpler than our current process. So my number, cell phone number is 506. 721-7911. If you have any questions, do not be shy. Just a few tips to remember. And again, I'm going to put my silence alarm button on. It's telling me that my device is still in standby. So only use sterile or distilled water. You cannot use this device without a core temperature. It needs that feedback. The cure wrap must be filled with water prior to wrapping it and securing it on the patient. You don't need anything between the patient and the cure wrap. Do not use the cure wrap to lift patients and try and avoid anything sharp because it will puncture a hole and then you'll have to get a new cure wrap. So again, don't be shy. If you have any questions, just give me a shout. And thank you for listening and I hope you have a great day.